Hey guys, it's Kate with Heart and Gardening. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you guys are here today because we are doing another seed haul. Yes, another one. I know. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. Um, I haven't even opened these seeds yet. They're still sealed in the package. So this will literally be the first time I go through them with you guys on here. Um, I'm super excited. You guys know I love a good seed haul. And uh, this may or may not be the last one I do for the 2020 year. I can't promise that I won't get any more seeds. Like I can't, I can't make that promise to you guys. But um, I'll be sharing, if I do end up getting more, I'll share them again right here on this channel. So please make sure you are subscribed and uh, let's open this because I got it yesterday and it's been killing me to wait. So let's do it. Literally sealed. You guys, you don't know how much willpower it took not to open this last night. This is like the best mail in the world. If you are a gardener, you know what I'm talking about. So, let's cut this baby open. Should I just dump them out just like this for y'all? Whoa! Okay, I mean... Yeah, it was a little seed haul to me, but that, that was kind of a lot coming out of there, so let's do it! First, all these seeds are from MI Gardener. If you've watched my previous haul, that is mainly where I get my seeds from. Um, you know I love that company. I talk about it all the time. I talked about it in my pepper video that was last. Uh, I have some Baker Creek seeds as well, um, but MI Gardener is the most affordable option for me, and they're great quality, so that is what I choose to use. So in there we got the little MI Gardener cards. Aren't they so cute? They're adorable. Little carrots, a little tomato one. Oh, it's so cute. Tomatoes. <laughs> so exciting. Okay. So some of these seeds are actually, three packs of them were, are for an Instagram follower. I did a giveaway over there and I let her pick out any three packs of seeds she wanted from MI Gardener and uh, I put them on my order and then I'm going to send them out to her with a shirt that she won. So three of them are for her and then the rest are for me. Okay, so we have um, the Black Beauty Zucchini which I have in that last haul too. I ended up picking up some more. Um, so we have that. That's nothing really that exciting to me, but okay. Uh, also for me is the Genovese basil. Now I did get the um, Tulsi, the holy basil, um, but I wanted to just go ahead and just get the more like well-known regular one too. So the Genovese basil and that was actually out of stock for a little bit and it came back in the good thing about mi gardener is when they are out of stock they come back in pretty quickly and you can get on their email list and you'll be notified as soon as uh something you want comes back in stock so you won't miss out again so i def definitely recommend if you go on there and you find something is out of stock they replenish it pretty quickly and using that uh the waiting list email notification like then you won't miss it the next time it comes back in stock. It's really cool. I love that feature. All right. This was one that my uh, follower picked. It is the Lufa. I'm so excited because Lufa's, I have these seeds too, and this will be the first year I'm growing it. And I feel like uh, quite a few of my Instagram followers um, are, this is going to be their first year for Lufa's too. So we're all going to be with a bunch of like Lufa babies that don't know what, <laughs> that don't know what we're doing. And it's gonna be so fun so um, and there is a loofah challenge um, I believe too going around that I'm gonna be you know hashtagging and participating in so she picked out loofah as one of her three picks next we have nasturtiums um, I have never grown these before but if you watched my first seed haul video you knew that flowers and herbs were going to be incorporated more it was like one of my main goals of my garden this year so um, the nasturtiums, I went ahead and picked these up too, even though I have a lot of flowers already uh, because they're edible and I really just want to eat one. I want to see what it tastes like. Everybody says 
Um, I think that they, that nasturtiums have the peppery kind of flavor and I love pepper. So I'm just curious. Um, I want to eat a flower and see what it tastes like. So these are pretty thick. These are thick seeds. Um, I didn't realize, I feel really thick. So nasturtiums, they look beautiful. I'm super excited to try those. Next is one that my follower picked and she picked the Ambrosia Sweet Corn, which is a good pick. Ambrosia Sweet Corn. I don't have the best luck with corn. I am going to attempt uh, the Glass Gem Corn, just a few stalks this year, just to see. Uh, my corn just never grows. It might be that there's not enough nitrogen, so I'm really going to focus on that this year, but it gets like this high, this high, it doesn't grow. Like, I don't understand. Like, I live in a place where there's cornfields everywhere, and mine's like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. So, I'm going to attempt it this year again, but I'm only going to do it because of the glass gem, which is super pretty. If you haven't um, seen that, Google it, and you will be intrigued by that as I am. So, that's, uh, I'm just not a good corn grower. So, hopefully, the glass gem works out this year. The last one out of the three, any three that my viewer could pick from my giveaway that I did over on Instagram, she picked the New Yorker tomato because she's from New York. So she felt obligated to pick it. And I mean, I could see why, because you, you can't pass up your home state tomato. You have, you have to do it. So she picked the New Yorker tomato. So I think that's really cool. So those were the three she picked from my giveaway, the Ambrosia corn, the Lufa, and the New Yorker tomato. So these three that we went over so far are mine and then the rest are mine. <laughs> and if you've seen in my uh, What Tomatoes I'm Growing video, which is a few, um, I can link it down below if you haven't watched that. Um, I think I ended up with six or seven varieties on there. Seven, I think. And uh, so that I might get a couple more and I did. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. So I am throwing a few more tomatoes into this mix other than that tomato video. First is just the classic Roma tomato. Um, I wanna be able to make some uh, sauces and stuff and I feel like that is one that I need. And then the Aunt Ruby's German green tomato. I just wanted to grow a green tomato just because um, I've also had a really good burger down at Disney that had a fried green tomato on it and it was delicious. And if I could replicate that burger with a fried green tomato, oh, so we are definitely going to try this this year so I can try that burger. Aunt Ruby's German green tomato. It's pretty too. I just, it's pretty. Okay. Then I did get Bonnie Best, which is just your classic another um, easy grow of Bonnie Best. Uh, they actually say that Bonnie Best is uh, the best for like canning and that is one of my goals this year is to learn to can um, some tomatoes and some cucumbers. I need to start off small so I don't want to get crazy. Maybe some jams but uh, I picked up Bonnie Best because that is the best canning tomato apparently. So and then one more tomato, I got the Tiny Tim because he was so cute. These are a dwarf variety um, tomato and this plant only grows, it says from like 10 to 12 inches tall. So it's gonna be like a baby, a, ba a baby tomato plant, Tiny Tim, little Tiny Tim. I think it's so cute. Okay, I'm a sucker for anything that's different or unique. You'll see that. Are you guys not just loving that I have a plant now? The monstera back here so that my goal is to like make this my my plant my indoor garden plant jungle and then there'll be like lots of plants behind me when i do these videos <laughs> the last three is um the spaghetti squash now i'm growing this kind of not spitefully but my husband did not like spaghetti squash the one year i grew it I grew, it grew fantastic. Let me tell you, it, I didn't have to put much effort into it. It grew great. He just wasn't a big fan of it. And I think he needs to give it another chance because it's so healthy for you. And I, I'm going to grow it and then have him eat it. He has to, he has to give it another go. Like it's a healthy, good thing. I guess if he doesn't, then I'll just be healthy and I'll eat him. So 
the spaghetti squash and then I got I have the the what's known as the dino kale and I went ahead and got the blue curled scotch kale because a lot of the soups I do in the winter are um, have the the blue curled scotch. I've used the dino ones in place of it, but I just thought I would get the blue curled scotch kale as well because it's just the classic what you find in the grocery stores and stuff. And I really enjoy that kale. And then another herb because we said this was going to be the year of flowers and herbs in my garden. I got sage. Um, I think it would be great to be successful with this and we love a lot of our sausage meals cooked with um, a sage flavoring. So if I can make my own seasoning, my own sage seasoning, I think that would be amazing. So sage is the last one on this seed haul. Hey guys, and that's it for today. Um, yeah, I have a problem, <laughs> a big problem, but it's a good problem to have. I mean, look at all this yummy stuff. And then you've got my cute little ones from my giveaway winner on Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I will link it up here like I normally do at the end of my videos. Um, please follow me on there. Please subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Um, there's a lot of people that I see are watching the videos, but they're mostly unsubscribed. So if you find any enjoyment in my videos, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out in the long run. And that's it. What are you, are you guys growing any of these? Let me know. Like, are you growing a tiny Tim? A tiny Tim? I'm so excited for tiny Tim. I'm just so excited. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to get off here and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.